going on? Hello, everybody. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hello. Sorry we're a little bit late. Hopefully you saw the message that went out that said we were having some tech difficulties with our internet, but we're here now, and we're excited to be with you guys in the gospel of John. John. And, um, yeah. Or as they say in Greece, Giannis. 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 <laughs> And uh, we are glad to be with you. We're looking forward to studying. We've, we're still in uh, the woman at the well story. Hmm. And uh, it, it, we could have, we could yeah. have taken um, weeks and weeks in this story, actually. Yeah. Um, I, gave, I gave everybody kind of a big chunk again this week to prepare for our study. We're in uh, chapter 4, verses 27 through, what did I say, 42? 42. 27 through 42. So if you've got your Bibles, you can open them to John chapter 4. We are, we're going through the Gospel of John together, uh, verse by verse. This is the one expository uh, study that we do as a, as a team every single Wednesday that we can get online. <laughs> Which has been most of them. Is, <laughs> we only yeah, had one that we weren't able to get on, I oh, think, this year. But um, but we're glad to be with you guys. Lord, we thank you that uh, you're here. Yeah. Uh, your word is living and active. You speak to us through your word right now, God, that it's a real encounter that we're having with you in this moment through what each person shares, God, that the way you, the way they've encountered you. Bring us into that encounter, Lord. Let us... Let us experience you through what we hear our brothers and sisters share, not only around this table, but those that are joining us online. We give you praise in Jesus' mm, name. Amen. 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 So please add your comments. Yes. Uh, we want to hear how God speaks to you through this passage. That is a part of the study that we get to do together. And So I'm going to read the passage out of the ESV today, and then um, I think today will be Jamie will go first. Is that all right, Jamie? Mm -hmm. And then we'll go Ryan and Chris, and then you, and then me. And uh, that's how we'll roll today. So here we go. John chapter 4, verse 27 says, just then. What is the just then? Well, he's just dropped the bomb on this beautiful, awesome Samaritan woman that he is the Christ. Like he's the Messiah. And uh, again, he doesn't drop that all the time. So yeah, it's pretty cool no. that he drops it here with the Samaritan woman. Yeah. And uh, right, and right then, because his disciples, they've been in, they gone into town to get some food. He's tired, and they're hungry. All of them, I'm sure, are tired and hungry. And now we're at verse 27. Just then, his disciples came back, and they marvelled that he was talking with a woman. But no one said, "What do you seek?" or "Why are you talking with her?" So the woman left her water jar and went away into town and said to the people, Come see a man who told me all that I ever did. Can this be the Christ? And they went out of the town and were, were coming to him. And meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, saying, Rabbi, eat. But he said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. So the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him something to eat? And Jesus said to them, my food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say there are yet four months and then comes the harvest? Look, I tell you, lift up your eyes and see that the fields are white for harvest. Already the one who reaps is receiving wages and gathering fruit for eternal life so that sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here the saying holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap that for which you did not labor. Mm -hmm. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labor. And many Samaritans from that town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. Mm -hmm. And many more believed because of his word, and they said to the woman, It is no longer because of what you said that we believe, for we have heard for ourselves, and we know that this is indeed the Savior of the world. Yeah. Man, come on. Woo! Savior. All right. What are talking about? So I'll pass the Frisbee over to Jamie. Okay. There's, frisbee. There's so much here. Uh, <laughs> I know. I mean, I, I had a lot... A lot of thoughts, and so uh, thoughts. only a few will probably come out, but uh, um, 
Yeah, I'll just kind of uh, brief through some of the things, some of the things that really were highlighted to me. So, you know, the disciples coming, coming back and were amazed. It was, it's kind of cool that, I don't know, to me, they're a talkative bunch <laughs> and they just like say what, like without any filter oftentimes <laughs> and they didn't say anything. And it's like, oh, maybe they're learning a little bit. Uh, so it kind of like, kind of was like, oh, wow, that's interesting. Sometimes it's like they're going, okay, let's, let's take a moment back and see what Jesus is doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's um, good. And uh, I love that the woman left her water pot to yeah, run back yeah, into the city. That's a big one. She's that's like, I'm, one. I'm leaving this. I'm just going to run back. Like, you know that there was just this, this feeling of trust and safety that was there, yeah. you know? Because it's like, who knows? That could have been her only one, you know, to carry water, True. which, like, nowadays we don't think about that as, like, mm. a, a real big deal. But it's like, hey, like, I'm not going to survive unless I have something to carry water back into town. Wow. Uh, yeah. And so it's a really good, uh, really good imagery there of just, like, I'm just running to go tell people. Yeah. yeah. Um, and... And, he, and she said, come see a man who told me all the things that I've done. Uh, this is not the Christ, is he? And um, mm. I, heard, I heard things over the years about this uh, particular uh, quote um, in Scripture. It, it's like, this is not the Christ, is he? And uh, it's like, it's hard in the Greek because it could be really like uh, understood in a little bit different ways. It's like... You know, there was this uh, idea of Jesus or a Messiah coming back. Mm -hmm. Like, that was just something kind of known. And so when she was going, like, is this really him? Mm -hmm. So it's like just getting that, that picture of, like, is this him? Like, is this yeah. not the Christ? Is this, could it be? Could it be? Like, and just having that, having that idea come forth is really powerful, I think, because it's just, I don't know, it gets me really hungry about just thinking about Jesus's return someday, Ooh. you know, and just going like, oh, yeah. like, is this it? Is this oh, it? Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, mm -hmm. and it's just, it, it's just an exciting, yeah, uh, yeah, exciting yeah. mentality to have. Um, hmm. You know, uh, meanwhile, the disciples were urging him like, like, hey, like, eat some food because like uh, Brent just said, they were, I mean, he came tired. He came thirsty, mm -hmm. yeah. hungry, super hungry. Yeah. And he was like, this is my food. Mm -hmm. And it just reminded me, yes. when you get into like a certain flow of like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, this is, this is like me and God doing, yeah. doing great things together. Or like, you know, when just those normal physical things don't matter anymore. And you're like, I'm doing, I'm doing what God is calling me to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I just want to, I just want to release that come even on. now, like Ooh, come that, on. that we can encounter this flow that mm -hmm. is like yes. our, our hunger doesn't, isn't even thought of that we can enter this place with God and just uh, doing his will and releasing the kingdom into the world so mm. so i just released that over yeah. myself and everybody yes. else that yes. that they mm. they are in the flow yeah. we just release that that yes. as as works good works are put in front of them that they will accomplish them mightily yeah. with uh, the presence of god yeah. in jesus name amen yes um, i agree and and that's one thing too when he talks about the harvest um i'll just i'll probably um maybe end on on this when he talks about the harvest that's another thing that gets gets me excited too is like oh it's the harvest like the time is now let's go like let's uh -huh. let's start you know bringing jesus talking about jesus bringing the gospel and it says uh you know one sows and another reaps and i sent you to reap that for which you have not labored others have labored and you have come into that labor mm -hmm. uh just before that though it says uh, so that the one who sows and the one who reaps may rejoice together. Mm. Um, and I think that's powerful for me because sometimes it's like, I feel like I'm sowing, but I'm not feeling the reaping as much, you know, like all of these yep. seeds that I'm planting. 
you know, I'm looking for the fruit, I'm believing for it, but I'm not seeing it like right in front of me yet. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and sometimes I think Jesus thinks all oh, but mm -hmm. uh, generationally. Yeah. And so we really have yeah. to go like, wow, we, we, are, we, are, we are doing something that is going to make an impact generationally. That's good. Uh, and so I think we got to remind ourselves of that sometimes when we're uh, bringing the gospel. Mm -hmm. In that, you know, it says, uh, you know, the one who sows and the one who reaps may rejoice together. So, like, mm -hmm. I just, I just get this picture of, of seeing all of the the fruit of the kingdom, um, mm -hmm. all the people who receive Jesus and and are, you know, receive salvation and and all the broken are 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 fixed up, you know, mm -hmm. all the things, and that we can rejoice together, and that's really a reward because. Um, you know, sometimes we can get this like reward things and yeah. we always think money or monetar monetarily, yeah. but like when, when I, you know, when I'm sowing or reaping or whatever, um, you know, and there's, there's reward in heaven for me. Right. But yeah. I don't want to think about it in a way of like, yeah, like I'm investing now. So, Hey, I'm going to give this money or I'm going to do this or that now and I'm gonna have a big old bank account in heaven, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's so easy to think about it that way, um, you know, in our finite thinking sometimes, mm -hmm. but it's really like, what are we all looking for, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and I feel like joy in the kingdom yeah. is one of the biggest yeah. things. Like everyone's looking for happiness, right? The kind of temporary, yeah. not so lasting joy, but we get the real joy, yeah. the eternal joy. Yeah, yeah come on. And, and we get to do it like if you're sowing or you're reaping, we get to experience that joy. Yeah. And that's our reward. And yeah. so it's not like, mm -hmm. you know, when we receive the gospel, we received it by grace, right? Mm -hmm. The God, like, like just faith in Jesus and we receive the gospel by grace. And mm -hmm. I, and the good works that are put in front of you are by grace. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like by his grace, there are good works that mm -hmm. he puts in front of you. Yeah. He's going like, yeah. Jamie can accomplish that. Chris yeah. can accomplish yeah. that. Yeah. Everyone else, all of you can accomplish these things. And, and it's just yeah. you, you engaging in it with God, yeah. me engaging in it with God. And so that is by grace too. So don't think that we all have this like, oh, it's just by merit or by something that we just strive to do, but it's something that we engage with God in and he puts before us. Amen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, man. Amen. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> That's good, bro. Good, oh, good, I, good. I like, I'll go. I like how you, you were hitting on how it's the grace to accomplish uh, the task that he's put before us. Because yeah. I've heard of a lot of people like preach on the harvest is white, so go like hundred miles an hour, hit that harvest, yeah. get as many as you can. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look back, keep your hand on the plow. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's like okay, well, well think of a farmer, because the harvest is white. It is time. And and yeah. spiritually speaking, that's talking about like sharing the gospel and and bringing people into his kingdom. That's, mm -hmm. you know, in a nutshell, that's what it is. Uh, but when you talk to farmers and you talk about harvest time, it's like, that is the hardest time for them. It is mm -hmm. late nights, yeah. early mornings, mm -hmm. all people pulling all-nighters. All <laughs> and Imagine. like, there is a grace for it. Like, you can actually go out there and get totally burned out, like, sharing your faith, sharing the gospel, reaping the harvest. And so it's, it's good that you said it's by grace. Like God's going to give us the energies to do it. Yeah, but yeah. there still needs to be margins in our lives for the other things that he's called us to do. Because Amen. There's, Amen. there's works, works like plural, that he's called us to accomplish. Like mm -hmm. a lot of us uh, have parents. A lot of us are married. A lot of us have children. A lot of us... Uh, have friends and like those are works as well like those are areas of our lives mm -hmm. that God's yeah. called us works. to yeah. that he wants us to like bear good fruit in so it's you know it's not just like this one place where I've got to give it my all like God wants us mm -hmm. to yeah give give in this area but know that these areas he wants us to steward too 
and that there's rest in the kingdom. Like, that was, like, revolutionary mm-hmm. for yeah. me. Like, yeah. and, you know, because you're young and, and you're, you're just fiery for God. You want to do all this stuff. You know, mm-hmm. you, you read about Jesus and you, you read a lot about all the stuff he does. You don't read too much about the times he's sleeping, although you find them. Jesus yeah. takes naps. You find them. Yep. Amen. And, and, and in the word, you know, especially in Hebrews, it talks about how there's rest for God's people. Like, yeah. So it's awesome that we get to be workers for God and there's works that he has for us mm-hmm. to accomplish. And I love that he that it's not just God reaping the harvest, that he actually is like, no, I want you to be in on it, too. Like, this is going to be this is going to be good for you. This is going to be fun mm-hmm. for you. You're going to see me. In what you're doing but also that there is a time for rest there's a time to pull back there's a time for vacations there's a time mm-hmm. to just take a deep breath and breathe in the fresh air that god's given us yeah. and you know like people say smell the coffee you know it's like <laughs> we get is. to we get to slow down like that it's a it's a benefit of the kingdom we get to slow down too yeah. i'm not saying you can't go 100 miles an hour because there are those times like yeah. you said mm-hmm. you get into this rhythm mm-hmm. where you're just like I can do anything like this is me and God right here. Mm-hmm. Like you just feel so alive. But there are other times where it's like, I don't feel like I can move. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we're called to called to rest at those times. Yeah. I was thinking about kids like kids when when like children go to play. Like I rarely see and there are some kids that do this, but you rarely see a kid going and grabbing a bag of chips or going and grabbing a water bottle or like going, Oh, it's three o'clock, I should be back by about you know, three thirty because I got a snack at that time. There's just no regard. They don't care what they're gonna eat, they don't care like what time it is, like they are gonna go and they are gonna adventure, mm-hmm. they're gonna have fun, they're gonna yep. be, they That's forget good. all uh-huh. these things that, that we so so many times get focused on, like food and times and, uh-huh. and place. But I, I think there's you know, Jesus they're just they're like, Aren't you hungry? And he's just like, Don't you realize like I'm my food is to accomplish the works that the Lord's put before us and I I just think there is that place where God can bring us where it's like these things don't matter as much. Yes, we are going to have to eat. And yes, we, we probably, if we want to be responsible people, we got to check out the clock and, and make sure like we're, you know, we're not uh, interrupting a million other things in our lives. But like there is just that place where like you kind of just tune into what he has and accomplish the things that he has. So, that's so good. Yeah. 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 That's, 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 that's so that's good. Um, mm-hmm. I think also uh, it's interesting um, backing up a little bit, like the the woman at the well, like I, I've heard people like over the years, you mentioned over the years, uh, mm-hmm. over the years, people talk about how there's these influential people in cities or regions. Maybe they're famous or maybe they're infamous. It's like mm. that person that everybody knows mm-hmm. in the city. Yeah. You know, like I know growing up in a yeah. smaller town there, there were a few that like everyone knew. Uh-huh. The guy who owned the bar, the one who was always drunk, uh, and the one that was sleeping around, like, like you mm-hmm. just knew, even as a kid, like I knew who they were, mm-hmm. and it's almost like, uh, like here, here's the woman at the well, and she fits one of, the, you know, mm-hmm. one or multiple of those categories, and it, it can be a good thing too. They might be known for, you know, being the mayor or something like that. People know them, yeah. but maybe they're unsaved, you know, like like her. She doesn't know the Lord yet. She gets mm-hmm. saved. Everybody in the city is like, we know her we see that her life is now completely changed and not just that like our interests are our interests are perked but like we actually want to do what she's doing yeah like we see the change we see like what god has Mm -hmm. done in her life and there's these people that god puts in every community in every country in every city they're they're famous or infamous and god is calling us to seek them out, to pray for them, to yeah, to, to evangelize them, amen. to like tell them That's the good, good news, right yeah. because mm-hmm. you just you just don't know, you just don't yep. know. Oh, I want to tell a story bad. Okay, I'm gonna tell it real quick. Do it. Tell it. <laughs> I, and I think I've told you guys a little before, but I had this friend growing up. He was from the city next to ours, bordering city, and he was an amazing, phenomenal wrestler. And he placed in state his junior year, senior year. He's, he's like, everybody's like, he's going to win state. And he fell like four stories from scaffolding oh. and broke his back and could not walk anymore. That's awful. Oh. And uh, That's the whole city knew. 
the whole town found and you know, knew like oh. this kid's a stud like he's gonna do great things and like the whole city knew and uh, i heard about it too and i was like i actually went to the hospital and like i don't even i don't know if i prayed over him or what i was like 19 it was a long time ago but then i just kept having these dreams about this kid walking Oh, like mm. several times in the last 10 years, mm. like I had dreams. Mm. And so I was driving through his town one day and I'm like, I'm going to find his house oh, and dude. I'm going to go pray for this kid because yeah. it's like God can do anything. Mm -hmm. So I went to his house. He's out in his wheelchair sitting in his driveway and me and my friend Tyler, Tyler, Ooh. my friend Tyler were with like, let's go pray for him. So. We like tell him the whole thing, like, hey, I've had dreams about you walking. I, that might sound really crazy to you. I don't know where you're at with your faith. He's like, it's so funny that you should come because I've been training in the pool to get my legs better. And my trainer said just this week, I've been doing way better than he's, he's <laughs> wow. seen and all this. And it had been like 10 years since this accident happened. Wow. <laughs> so my wow. buddy and I were like, okay, can, well, can we pray for you? He's like, sure. So we pray over him and I'm like, okay. Why don't you just get up? <laughs> <laughs> yup, yup. And he's like, why don't, don't you think I should just try with like my big toe? Just start with my big toe. Yeah. <laughs> like, Make up the big toe. Go big ahead, go. buddy. Like try with your big toe. And end up that he didn't get out of his wheelchair that day. He didn't move his big toe. But we at least got to minister to him. And yeah. you could already see God was at work like long before we got there. He's, mm -hmm. he's, you know, this guy that was training with him said he was getting better. Mm -hmm. and I, it, But that thought went through my mind, like, this is a woman at the well type opportunity. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows mm -hmm. this guy. He's been in the paper. He's been on the news. Mm -hmm. Like, if this guy gets healed, like, look out. Yeah. Entire Ooh. town, entire yeah, city. Winchpin. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Like, there are just those people that God's like, and mm -hmm. for whatever reason, you know, they're like these people of peace. There's these people... That like maybe we don't want to call it people of peace, but like this famous infamous person that yeah. like they get saved, it's done. Yeah. And then the last Come thing, on. I think it's so interesting. Jesus is on his way to Galilee. He stops in Samaria, uh, but it's it starts out by saying, you know, last week it started out or two weeks ago it start or was it last week? It's last week, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Last week it started out that he was going to Galilee, and they had to go through Samaria. So Jesus takes his time, ministers to the woman. And then he takes more time and ministers the entire town and more and more and more people get saved. And then finally, he gets back on his way to Galilee. Hmm. And it's just like, I think it's just a call, especially for us living in the United States. Like we live, we can live life so fast yeah. and we can mm -hmm. burn so hard. But like to take a step back, to slow down and not yeah. just to slow down like for the harvest, Although that's a huge part, Jesus himself slows down and all these people end up mm -hmm. believing in him. But for us to slow down, take a breath, like take account for what's going on in our lives and just look at, see the people mm -hmm. around us. Who, who could really use Jesus? Who could really use yeah. a prayer? What, what could God be calling you to that may be even, maybe different than what you're doing? Maybe you've just been going 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 and he just wants you to slow down and and show you like hey th yeah. this this is mm -hmm. something there there are actually some people right here mm -hmm. that i, I, I want to show to you i want you to know i want you to introduce me to them or what you know whatever mm -hmm. it is the lord's calling you mm. to but i just thought that That's was interesting good. like this is a call to slow down too yeah so. mm -hmm. anyway. come on man yeah. that good. is so good bro Felicidades. <laughs> <laughs> it, it makes me think it makes me think of um or what you're saying makes me think of uh people to watch for the linchpins yeah to look for the linchpins the linch you might mm -hmm. know them they might be your f mother or father or your best yeah. friend or they might be the person you hate the most yeah oh come on so yeah. um <laughs> what is the linchpin yeah like, it's like a pin and a grenade you pull it and everything and then oh. stuff goes yep yeah. Or like something in a stru like a structural pillar, you pull it and the rest uh, come exactly. down because it is something that uh, holds up weight and is an integral part of a structure. Mm. Some kind come of, on. you know. I'm not an engineer. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, I love how this has started out. It's kind of like 
uh, the writer breaks the fourth wall uh, in like a you know movie when the actor looks at him. It's like, but no one said what does she want, and what, you know, like uh, yeah. it's kind of it's kind of like it's it's the hose water. It's um, he just he explains to all of us like, but. No one said anything. No one, mm-hmm. no one said. Why is he talking to her? And I thought that was great because he kind of sets it up. Um, mm-hmm. Jesus is always playing chess. It seems like uh, <laughs> that's yep. good. Well, and, and, yep. I mean, well, yep. That's a really. She good. just heard. She yes. just heard that she could carry e- eternal water, living water, mm-hmm. and she just leaves her water jug yep. there and leaves. That's significant. I just, yep. I just imagine that that split second. She looks at the water jug. She's like. No, I actually don't need you as much as what I got. Okay, be back. Whoa. See, you know, mm-hmm. like she, she, Jesus showed her that mm-hmm. that uh, we are the buckets. You know, and she asked yeah. her last week about about, but you don't have anything to carry your water with. She showed that we are the buckets. So she's probably, like, oh yeah, I'm a bucket. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go Dang. deliver this water. That's right. right. That's so right. she goes. She left the H two O and carried living water into town. Um, yeah. So I find it super curious that that uh, she just used the phrase "everything I've done." He said mm-hmm. he showed or uh, he told me everything I had done. When really you can hear it, she he just named the important, the shameful stuff. Mm-hmm. Like he saw her and saw, okay, mm-hmm. that's a bunch of shame on top of my mm-hmm. daughter. So mm-hmm. I can I'm gonna call this out. And mm-hmm. what he called out.